Students at Utah Tech University were introduced to a new Breaking the Stigma seminar series at the Gardner Center. Utah Tech Board of Trustees Chair Tiffany Wilson sat down with Christy Pike to talk about the importance of recognizing depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions that may get in the way during everyday life. As someone who's dealt with my own mental health conditions for a very long time, since my early adulthood, since I was your age students, um, was when I really started to experience some deep depression and anxiety. And it's been a long haul. There's been a lot of times that I wasn't sure that I was capable or qualified to pursue the goals and the dreams that I had. My goal is to bring in successful leaders who might surprise you that they have also dealt with mental health conditions for the long haul. I was, I was in my teens when I, when I first um, started thinking about suicide. And I didn't even know it was suicide. I just knew it was too hard to be alive. And uh, then I got a little older. I'm in my 20s. And our first, um, my first pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. And I was in a deep, dark hole. For years, many people have been silent and unwilling to share the terror, confusion, and despair they sometimes feel. But by talking about their feelings, it can open doors to find a safe way to cope and deal with whatever may be triggering them. That's why we have this breaking the stigma kind of style, is because people aren't talking about it. And so people bottle it up, and then they eventually do something very drastic that people would say, oh, I've never seen that happen before. That person would never strike me as that kind of person. But we really don't know everybody's inside struggles unless we as the people spread that word and talk about it. There are many different ways to handle mental health issues, including medication, therapists, and psychiatrists. But for Christy, it was finding a reason to get out of bed in the morning. When I was at my deepest, darkest, uh, our youngest child was two. And all the other kids would go off to school and, and she's, she's a caboose, and, um, and she would come, and I would still be in bed. I couldn't get out of bed. I wasn't working, I was, I was working from home at the time, and I couldn't get out of bed, and she would pull on my hand, and she'd say, Mom, I need breakfast. And I would, I would get out of bed. And once I got up, I could get going. But it was that initial getting out of bed, but being needed was so key. And Finding ways to cope or deal with these days before they occur is also key because there is always hope. You know, for students, having a class is really helpful. Having a commitment with friends is very helpful. Um, I know some days are long days of no class, but that's why I think like getting involved um, in your university, getting involved in your college experience is so important. And taking off that mask is another way to reach out so people can listen. To, to listen is to lean in softly with the willingness to be changed by what you hear. And um, mm -hmm. I think when we're willing to do that for each other and really listen and then ask, do you, need, do you just want a place to put this? Do you just want me to listen to you? Or do you want me to give you some ideas of things that I think? Do you want me to help brainstorm with you some, some solutions? But ask permission. And make this more normal to try and give every one of us in this room to give us permission to say, I, 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 this is what I'm dealing with and have it be okay. A lot of times we mask it and we hide it. And I think that um, coming here today has helped me, but I also hope that other people come in the future so that it helps them. If we can tackle those and then get you in a point to where you're not just in a surviving style, to where you can thrive, then we can then, you know, then you are becoming who you were meant to be. There are various resources both on and off campus to help students, staff, faculty, and others in the community. We'll All it takes is breaking the stigma by reaching out. From Utah Tech University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.